Okay, I'm um, just going to do a little video showing you how this uh, these earbud things are working. Hopefully, we'll inlay it onto this video here. I do just want to add in. I've seen the video that I've just edited and the playback from this thing. The frame rate with the playback is not correct, so it doesn't actually match up with the video that I've recorded it for, unfortunately. So if you see some discrepancy on me moving it with my hand before it does on the footage, that's why I did line the uh, original start of the footage up with each other, but it just drifted itself apart. So that's that. So I'd add that in at the beginning here just to let you know. Uh, let's turn that on. It's not smart, but it's whatever that is. It's three millimeters on the end there. Snap the spoon off because that was attached. And we'll go onto the app here. Uh, we need to select its Wi-Fi. I know you can't really see the screen. There we are. It's getting its uh, Wi-Fi. <clears throat> what I'm going to do, I'm going to have a look inside some locks around my uh, office here. So that's, that's connected. I'm going to open up the the app again and there we have it okay so I'm gonna just move this screen here and what I'm gonna try and do is overlay the video from this into the thing so we press record on there and I know that I need to angle that this way so we're gonna have a look in a couple of these hopefully I'll be able to uh, attach it the video up to the top right so i'll leave a bit of space up there and we'll go in like this and i can see in here that little notch there on the right hand side that would suggest that's key retaining you can see we've got these brass levers up above then i don't think there's any notches so i can see some uh, things on there. So the fact that I've picked it before as the four positions means it's Lama Fletcher. Here we go. We'll move this aside and go in here. And straight away, you can see in there I've modified it. There was a key retaining notch in there and I've ground it off with the Magi Burr. Um, that was so that I could uh, use it for training and people wouldn't get the key, uh, the pick stuck in the lock. <laughs> Quite handy because with that one, you, you couldn't actually get it out afterwards. You have to pick it back closed. Okay, let's have a look in this Yale. Okay. Uh, and here we go. This one, you can see the three levers at the back, the bolt in the middle, and then there's another three levers there as well. We've got the yellow plastic spacings in there. Pretty cool. I have a... Just gonna move our camera around here. Pop that there so we can watch it. Uh, we have this gun cabinet here. I have a Lau and Fletcher up in the top here. Oh, let's tip my camera so we can see what I'm doing. So the typical, oh, that's not a Lau and Fletcher from the color, that's a Walsall Ace. The levers are also a steel gray in color. Um, so you can see that and they identify it from that. And the bolt at the back is actually like a black. So you can identify that. We can also identify that it, oh, if I get it right, come on. Looking over to the right there, it's not key retaining. So let's have a look down this one at the bottom. Okay, pop it in the hole. Oh, make sure we got our camera the right way. Here we got this is a Lowen Fletcher with the brass levers. Looking to the right, it is not key retaining. There is a notch over there. I'm not sure that's for a key retaining thing, but uh, we can see it's clear and not key retaining. Always important with a gun cabinet to check. If we look up at the levers from down below, we can see there is dimpling or stippling, however you want to call it, on the levers, which will further identify to us that it's a Lau and Fletch 2802 variant and a T-shaped keyway helps as well. So we can see this metal coming up either side. That's hard plate. But if we look up, we can also see the gates up there and the slot in the front of the lock. So 
pretty pretty handy to see okay that's all just checking to see if we can have this nice video overlay on here